grab a drink, Bob would share. Welcome back to Hogwarts Legacy. Uh, last time we were here, we were in the central hall and we had a class to go to. Uh, and this guy's gonna take us there, so I'm gonna talk to Professor Fig here. It's good to see you, Professor. And you. I was hoping our paths would cross today before you immersed yourself in studies. Did I hear you and Professor Weasley talking about exploring ruins? Yes, sir. But I didn't tell her anything else about her travels here. I will say, I think she suspects we're not being entirely forthcoming. Yes, well, Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. It was right to keep the details to yourself for now. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. It may require a bit more flexibility with your time than she would approve of. And she may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster that would be better left between us. Understood, Professor. Good. Now, as capable as you are, I believe the ability you possess obliges you to be well-trained. Happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide you. Speaking of guides, and so that I may avoid another not-so-subtle reproof from Professor Weasley, why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the field guides map? Unfold it and have a look. Okay. That's the enchantment, is the tracking of the map. Yeah. The and map is enchanted to help you find your way. This will be incredibly helpful. Thank you. Now, sounds like you've quite a day ahead, what with classes and a trip to Hogsmeade for supplies, including your own wand. So You'll enjoy Mr. Ollivander. He's an exceptional craftsman and a good friend. I shall reach out when I have more information about our mysterious locket. For now, focus on your classes and pay attention. More than your owls may hinge on the magic you are able to master within these walls. I gotta say, this tutorial hand holding is is getting a bit on my nerves. Because it really, really, it, it, I find it to be more hand, more. I find it to be kind of like getting kneecapped more than being helped. Okay, well that, that's the way to go. Oh, I can I jump off the that ledge. Oh come on, come on, really. Okay, fine. The long way down. <laughs> the long and safe way. I was like, oh yeah, I can clear steps though. Okay. I bet you I have to go up, but... There's a... I was say, is there a reason I can't go out this door? Oh, there's an arrow. Okay, good to know. Okay. Be interesting. Nice. Is that all you've got? Yeah. Professor Hackett! Perhaps you'd be good enough to blast each other to pieces on your own time. I get new students every year, but I only have one Hebridean black skull. It was a token from the great poacher raid of 1878. No doubt you've heard of it. Now, you may be asking yourself how an old woman like me single-handedly took out the largest poacher ring in eastern Wales and lived to boast about it. Knowledge. To the wise, age matters very little. Today, we will review a spell that has saved me from death at the hands of dark wizards more times than I care to remember. Levioso. Levioso? 
A levitation charm? Levioso! A surprised opponent is a weak opponent. Care to defend yourself, Master Pruitt? No? One thing I've learned as an unspeakable is the value of simplicity, especially in the heat of battle. Now, let's practice what we've just learned, starting with something small. Okay. Levioso. Nice. Now, let's try something a little larger. With a basic cast. I am using. See there how the dummy deflected your cast. This time, cast Levioso first, then the basic cast. Remember, a surprised opponent is a weak opponent. Levioso. Good. Now, well done. Very good, but the best way to practice is by dueling. We'll start with you two. Duelists, take your marks. Time for a proper Hogwarts welcome. Now, <laughs> I want a fair duel using only Levioso, basic cast, and Protego. You may begin. Levioso, this can't be your first duel. Let's just say I'm a quick learner. Only all of my students were this event. I do enjoy a life of duelling. Case things. Let me say. Not bad for a beginner. You give as good as you get. <laughs> He's gonna be a problem, I right? can tell. I put you on the spot, and you rose to the challenge. Points to Ravenclaw. Yeah. Thank you, Professor Hackett. Glad to have the opportunity to practice. If what I've seen today is any indication, we can expect great things from you. Yep. I demand excellence from my students. They are capable of achieving it, and they must achieve it. A classroom duel is one thing, but battling dark wizards, or as ever more likely, goblins, is a different kettle of Grindelows entirely. Understood, Professor. So, I'd advise you to keep practicing whenever you can. Perhaps Mr. Sallow will have some ideas for you. Again, well done today. I shall reach out soon with additional assignments. All right, that's enough spectacle for one day. Class is dismissed. I just, want to, I just want to say briefly that I expected, um, because I forgot completely, you know, to see somebody else in Dark Arts um, from the movies, um, you know, because I did not, you know, because I did see some of them, like I said. Um, but then I remembered, I, and then I had to remind myself, yeah, that movie, yeah, this is like 250 years before the movies. So that's why he wouldn't be here. He's not alive yet. Not even the spec. <laughs> so. Nice work. I, I enjoyed see that. Oh. Well, that duel was quite something. Everyone will be talking about it. It was certainly good practice. Practice? It felt more like I was dueling an expert. Sebastian Sallow, by the way. Didn't expect a new student to be so deft with a wand. Then again, perhaps this wasn't your first duel. I've jeweled enough. Consider yourself lucky I held back. Huh. 
Fair enough. Yeah. You owe me an honest jewel when you aren't. What do you mean? You know, you might be a perfect fit for a certain exclusive, unsanctioned dueling organization. Great. Unsanctioned? I don't know. School rules are in place for a reason. Yes. Yeah. To keep students in the dark. So many things we're deemed unprepared to know. Oh, if you want to get the most out of your time at Hogwarts, you're going to need to break the rules now and then. Whether it's joining a secret dueling club or sneaking into the restricted section of the library, you just have to be clever enough not to get caught. The library is the, be the better I'll keep that in mind. Good. Too. Pleasure chatting with you. I'm sure I'll see you soon. Perhaps somewhere unsanctioned? We'll see if your performance today was sheer luck or actual skill. Look for Luke and Brattleby near the clock tower entrance. If you're interested. Yeah, I, I don't know. Until next time. I don't think we'll be doing that. I'd hate to face Professor Hecate in a duel. Yeah, she's probably tough. Go to Charms class, okay. Like the beginning when I loop this game, it's like it doesn't load everything Professor right away. Roman tends to go on a bit. Okay, let's begin Charm's quest. Charm's class. Here, behind you, there is an open seat here. Thank you. Hello, I am Nettie. So you are the new student. Have you He's met Professor a little bit Ronan interesting yet? <clears throat> but, uh, there, he there he is. Shall we begin? <laughs> oh Welcome boy. to year five of charms. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work. But I am confident that we will take hold with a passion and rigor requisite of such a Wait, challenge. Wait, year five right? of charms? Now, everyone, oh please boy. open your textbooks to page 517. But before we begin... Can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the color change and growth charms? Anyone? Anyone? Hmm? Ah, 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 ah. I am afraid it is too late to study now. Hmm. My, the summer months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> By the looks of it, you all spent your holidays practicing obliviate on one another. <laughs> uh, He's not funny. Do you even remember how to perform a basic summoning charm? Hmm? Hmm. Well, it seems that we are in dire need of review. Everyone get into pairs and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. Now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are and take turns summoning them out of one another's hands. Only one book will be needed per partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get into place now. Accio, okay. Accio! That is not bad. You are a swift learner. I see a lot of potential, but remember, potential is nothing without practice. Keep at it. You might just rival Miss Onai here. Very good, everyone. That's enough of that. Wow, well, that was as quick. you all seem to have the basics down, and it is an exceptionally lovely day, I was thinking that we might have ourselves a little excursion outside for a spot of fresh air. After me. Mm. 
Ah, he's one of those types of professors. Well, I, mean, I, I had I had a professor like that in college. He wasn't funny either. So he thought he thought he he thought he thought he was um yeah. A professor, uh, he. He thought uh, he was just the funniest guy out there, and he probably he was one of the dumbest professors out, uh, ah. out there. When it came to jokes. I've always found that fun goes hand in hand with mastery, as I'm sure the Quidditch players amongst us would agree. Hmm? <laughs> so, what better than a bit of sport to put our prowess with the summoning charm to the test, right? <laughs> so why don't we have our newest students start us off? Hmm? Eh? What what am I supposed to do? Very okay. simply, cast Accio on one of the spheres and relinquish your charm Accio. at the last. Excellent. Now, uh, think of this like gobstones, if you will. But instead of throwing the marbles up, very good. Uh... Ooh. Ah! Hold your composure. Ah. That's it. Sixty points is not Very good. Very good. Points to Ravenclaw. But there's certainly no sport in playing without some friendly competition. Miss Onai, would you care to give our new student a bit of a challenge? Come on up. You'll be the blues just as before, and Miss Onai, you are playing red. Clear? Yes, sir. Actually, I want to see the rules. Oh, okay. Let us see this. I want to see if I can knock her ball off. Okay, fair enough. Yes! Fair enough. Akio! <laughs> ah. Excellent. Good. Here we go. That is how it's done. Gosh, I'm uh, overestimating the power. Nicely done. Uh, basically, need her to fail in a couple of different ways. Whew. Yeah, well, winning Akio. is out of the question. So. Not to worry. Yeah, well. I was trying to hit her ball off at the last second, but... Let us make this a bit more interesting, shall we? Okay. Did I get another shot? <laughs> I think we are well past interesting at this point. Okay, I, so I do get another shot. Just... Enough chatter. Focus now. You will need it. This round settles it all. Let us see this. There we go. Akio. Six, six, six. Ah. Stay focused. Oh, shut up. Here we go. You're next on the list. Yes. Can I do this to the professor? No.
Very good. You shot. Okay, I just basically need to get a 50. Akio. Yeah. That you do it. Brilliant. Bam. Yeah. I mean, it was harder too. And I didn't need, and I only did two. Very good, both of you. Well done. So like do we get like one more, you know? <sighs> If you heard, if you heard a dog, Class is dismissed. Gather your things on the way out. If you hear a dog barking, whining in the background. Good game back there. Pay no attention. I must admit, I think I underestimated you. Took me weeks to become proficient with Akio. Took weeks for me to get anything right when I transferred here. It gets easier, I promise. That's good to hear. It's a lot to take in all at once. To put it lightly, I remember how I felt when I first arrived. I transferred here from Wagadu just before my fourth year. My mother received an offer to teach divination here. Before I knew it, we had left Uganda and were halfway around the world at a new school in a new country. Is Wagadu much bigger than Hogwarts? <laughs> Wagadu School of Magic is the largest wizarding school in the world. Did not know. So yes bigger than Hogwarts. But it never seemed intimidating or overwhelming to me. It always felt like home. Is Wagadu a castle like Hogwarts? Its address is Mountains of the Moon. It is not so much a castle as a beautiful edifice carved out of the mountainside. Oh wow. I remember the first time I saw it, the mist was so thick I could hardly make out anything at all. And then it just materialized before me, this enormous school that seemed to be floating in midair. This may seem an odd question, but is magic the same there as it is here? Mm, mostly, yes. But I did have to learn how to use a wand when I arrived here. Hardly anyone at Wagadu uses one. You can cast spells without a wand. Oh, yes. I find wandless magic to be much more instinctive. Not to mention quite convenient if one is without their wand. I must admit, however, that I am growing quite fond of using a wand. It seems very dramatic. It's nice to learn about another wizarding school. Thank you for asking. I do miss Wagadu, but I am glad to be here at Hogwarts. Ah, I think Professor Ronan wants to talk to you. Better not keep him waiting. Until next time. Of course, you can use Akio on humans, if you're so inclined. You wanted to speak with me, Professor? I did. I trust your first charms lesson lived up to expectation? Well, an outdoor competition wasn't exactly the lesson I was expecting, sir. What charm is there in the expected? You did well, managing to best as gifted a student as Miss Onai. Thank you, Professor. I enjoyed the match. Miss Onai is always a fierce competitor, though I sense that she is a bit distracted of late. <clears throat> now, Professor Weasley has asked that your professors give you instruction outside of the ordinary curriculum. Yeah. Expect to hear from me soon oh. regarding a special assignment that I am preparing for you. Okay. 
I thought he was about to give me one. Hello. How was your first day coming along? Okay, so what am I supposed to do? Well, okay. Where are the quests? That question is available. Excellent. Okay, so track the quest. Located it on the map. Wait a minute, can I actually fast travel to where that is? Where is the astronomy wing? Okay. That would get me over there, I guess. Right? Like. Hmm. Poster or something? I don't know. I don't know if that fast travel cut any time off the, well, hopefully it cut some time off the, uh, called the travel time. Lag is really starting to get on my nerves. Gosh. Oh gosh, it's down here. Man, I am just... Get lost in this classroom. Actually, I am lost. I'm going the wrong way, apparently. Ah. <sighs> Do I have to unlock it or does it unlock automatically? Really? Like when I open this game, I should just wait 20 minutes for all the stuff to load in because it sure takes its time. Okay. What about the room, Professor? I was thinking the same thing, Deke. Perhaps you could help. Oh, uh, excuse, Deke. Ah, there you are. I trust your first classes went well? They did, Professor. I heard as much from Professors Hecate and Ronan. Seems Professor Fig taught you quite a bit during your brief detour near... What was it you said? Some ruins? I'd wager there's a good deal more to your travels here than what you've told me. Isn't there? Have you and Professor Fig not discussed my training? He continues to be reticent about the details. 
Mentioning only a few spells. Revelio, was it? And Lumos? That's correct, Professor. I see. Like trying to get a sonnet from a streeler. Regardless, you must continue to build upon what you've learned. In that regard, I've asked your professors to help hasten your progress with some extra assignments. I know. <laughs> Professor Ronan did mention something about that. In fact, Professor Ronan will meet you outside momentarily to assign your first one. Now, regarding the trip to Hogsmeade I mentioned earlier, we've mm. arranged to replace the supplies lost on your way here, including seeds, potion recipes, and spell crafts. Good. Thank you, Professor. And Mr. Ollivander will connect you with the perfect wand. You've managed your classes well with a borrowed wand, but you'll find the magic you cast with your own wand to be far superior. Good. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. Very well. I'd like you to make your first visit to the village with a classmate. Help you get your bearings. Perhaps Sebastian Sallow or Natsai Onai. I've noticed you spending time with them. Uh, you mean like in class? That's all. I'd like to go with Natty. Excellent choice. Miss Onai is one of our most talented students. And also, she's she knows woman. the area. She'll yeah. keep you well clear of any of Victor Rookwood's undesirables en route. Rookwood? A rather unsavory local. Best to avoid him and his associates, including his right hand of sorts, Theophilus Harlow, if you can. Once you've finished Professor Ronan's assignment, your friend will meet you at the castle doors. No time to waste. The sooner you complete your work, the sooner you can enjoy a butterbeer at the Three Broomsticks. A butterbeer, I'm guessing that's an alcoholic, because, you know, age-wise, I know it's, uh... It's lower in Europe from my time living there, but um, it's quite that low. Okay, let's uh, see what um, cat. Akio. Oh, the cat. Cat, yeah. Is this a wait. Is this a professor? Okay, because I know. Okay, well, what you know what a. You know what? Let's see. Whoa. Ah, there you are. Yep. Look. You have a new spell to teach me, Professor. Indeed I do, and an exceedingly useful one at that. The mending charm, Repero. Fixes oh. things right up, makes a broken object good as new in the blink of an eye. I can, like, throw you into a statue and fix you? It seems as if that you. might come in handy. More frequently than one would imagine. Yeah. As Professor Weasley mentioned, I am not the only one who will be teaching you spells outside of class in an effort to catch you up with your peers. A number of your professors have agreed to do so as well, but first, each shall ask that you complete a few preliminary tasks to hone your magic. I have arranged some for today. See them through and then report back to me. <laughs> we will have you casting Ropero in no time. Okay. Why must I first complete tasks to learn Reparo? No lesson or lecture can compare to first-hand experience, and these tasks should provide you with just that. Such experience is invaluable when mastering any new bit of magic. Okay. I'll start on the task right away, Professor. So what do I need to do then? Click the flying page with the broken statue. And then collect the flying page in the defense against the dark guards. So, okay. How do you. How exactly am I supposed to do that? Oh, wait a minute. I think I know. This is the right area. I wonder uh, where the flying I see page is. Akio! Got it. Okay. Gosh. 
not doing things. There's. Hmm. Akio. Hmm. Revelio. Lumos. Hmm. Well, a flying page must be around here somewhere. Yep. Accio Levioso If only a new student were to help me with my sad predicament. Oh yeah, because that's not, you know, obvious at all. Akio. Brilliant. Brilliant. <laughs> hey, fine, what's your predicament? Because, you know, apparently a you quest right? is needed. Don't you know who I am? Nope. Zenobia Noak. The girl whom everyone at school hates for no reason. Uh, there's probably a reason. <laughs> everyone hates you? Why? Because Hogwarts is full of bullies and spoil sports, Leander Pruitt's one of the worst, that no talent moon mind. I wanted to make some new friends, and so I brought my collection down to the common room. What collection? My gobstone collection, that is. Okay. I was hoping someone would want to play. Are you familiar with gobstones? Little balls, like marbles. Grand game. And if you lose, they spray you with a foul smelling liquid. Gobstones? Sounds like a fun challenge. That's what I tried to tell everyone. <sighs> People can be so cruel. Just because they're sprayed all over with smelly gobstone spit, it's their own fault for losing. Imelda is one of the worst That's why people hate you. Ever written a story or a terrible as well. And now those poor losers have taken my gobstones and hidden them in very high places all over the school. Okay, that's uncalled for. Rather an overreaction on their part. Yeah. I'll say. Anyway, I can't work out how to get them back on my own. I don't think I know the necessary spells yet. I need someone, perhaps a selfless and talented fifth year, to help me. Do you have any suggestions on how to get your gobstones down from their hiding spots? If I knew that, I'd get them myself. Whoever uh. hid my gobstones that high got up there somehow. I'll see what I can do. I'd appreciate the help. If you do find all of my gobstones, do come and see me again. I'll be back to playing Snake Pit and Jackstone by myself in no time. Okay. Alright, uh, well, I, mean, I guess I can do some of it right now, but... Some of them are probably... I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Go back in here and go and come out up there. Oops. I get to a minute, Professor. I'm doing things, though. I'm doing stuff, though. Okay. Probably go up the stairs.
Okay. Excuse me, gosh. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Seems like I need to go up yet yeah, even higher. That can be managed. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Probably should not be in that office. Don't get too cocky simply because you had one victory over Sallow. This is taking me back to the professor, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, okay. Um. There we go. Yeah, let's... So we're here. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Yeah. 
Labiose. Akio. Labiose. Akio. Well, that's one of Zenobia's gobstones. I hardly see what all the fuss is about. All the way up there. Good boy. I'm not sure how I'm supposed to get up there, but okay. To get the minutes for particular order. Akio. I go higher and over. Can I get there? I think so. Get up there, though. Oh, I go these steps. Maybe I don't know. Is he inside there? I feel like it's inside there. Okay. Gosh, that's high up. Okay. Yeah, there are steps. Okay, good. Gosh, somebody was a jerk. I mean, seriously, this is excessive.
actually, you can only, you can only gasp to think what happens when they, they're probably, if they're this bad losing, they're probably insufferable when they win. Okay. I see it. Go all the way. Let's go to the highest point of the castle. Dang. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. I, I will be worth keeping an eye on the high places. Mm -hmm. Okay, oh, I think that's one. Oh, never mind. Hello. Revelio. There's one. As long as I get some sleep, I don't mind what anyone gets up to. Oh. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. Revelio. I see it. It's above me, I think, still, which is ridiculous. Um, I, I don't think I can get high enough though to do it. I don't know if I can do this quest. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Off on another adventure, are we? Akio! Revelio. Accio. Greetings. Okay. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Well, I found half of them, and hopefully none of them are quite as high as that one. Um, or, those, or not that one, those two. Go down all these steps again now. I can probably fast travel these places, but I'm not sure, so... That's just to move it. Okay. 
Yeah, so with all the hidden staircases and stuff like this, the game is pretty forgiving if you if you step it, you know, that like you can't like fall basically by accidentally stepping onto something. Revelio. Okay. Revelio Accio Okay. I think I know what I'm supposed to do. Okay, so So I hit this one first. Then there is there a number, or do I hit the one? Hmm. Okay, well, that's fine. I'll get to it. For the momentary stop there. Ed. Like when you have that nose that itches. <laughs> oh boy. Sakadaka! Okay. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. One left. Revelio. That's the last of Zenobia's gobstones. I should go and see her. I was wondering if you just like take all the books. It's like get all the get like tons of pages, you know. <laughs> Akio. Take that. Thank you. Be right back, Professor.
I hope you've had more luck than I did tracking down my gobstones. I don't think you were trying. <laughs> Hello, Zenobia. I found all your gobstones. Really? Yeah. I didn't think it was possible. Oh. However, did you do it? Walking. Common sense and basic magic. Well, <clears throat> may I have my gobstones back? How much is it? <laughs> wow, well, I could be a real. No, I'll we'll give them back. Here. Of course, they are yours after all. Yeah. Oh, how wonderful! I shall dedicate all of my future victories to you. Wow. Speaking of which, now that I have all my gobstones back, I wonder if anyone in the common room would be up for a game. Uh, that might be a. That's a horrible idea. No one wants to get that awful stench all over them again. Why not? Gobstones are splendid fun, and now everyone knows the rules. Very well, off I go. Wish me luck. You can do it anyways. Oh boy. At least I didn't encourage her. Then people would be like, hey, you're the one that said it was a good idea. It's like, um, this is being nice. Now when they're like, what, what, what did you do that for? I'd be like, look, I, I got them back. I told her, though, not to not to do anything, but then she did. Oh, okay. I guess it's stuck to this guy now. I trust the preliminary tasks. I completed the assignments, Professor. Yes, I did. Marvelous. You clearly know your way around basic charms. Um, Let us give the old mending charm a try then, shall we? Remember to be deliberate in your enunciation and movements. He's going to break I want to see some he? vigor. Now, wand at the ready. Yes, sir. I'm gonna break something. Remember, your wand is a conduit of your magic. That's it. That's it. Very good. If you would like to practice mending something, have a go with that broken statue in the alcove by the water. It allegedly symbolized heartbreak. Perhaps a jilted lover thought it too accurate and lashed out. Repair us. Nicely done. Works like a charm, doesn't it? <laughs> If you'd like to have a practice, in other words, easy side quest picking. But hey, okay, now I think I go and I, I get to go meet the, um, Natty for to go shopping. Hello, looking for me? Yep. Natty, I hope I haven't kept you waiting long. Not at all. Professor Weasley tells me that you need to go to Hogsbeat. You must be eager to have your own things again. And to see the village. I've been looking forward to it. Good. Shall we set off? I intend to give you a first-rate Hogsmeade experience. Okay. I was curious about I was curious about the cloak colors because I noticed her cloak color was different and I thought, oh maybe it's a customizable No, it's based on your house. <laughs> so that's why you know that's why Anyways, that's that's why her he's got it's the it's the reason for the colors because she's a Gryffindor, I think. Didn't I see this when I got here? Or no, I didn't. Yeah. 
this is, this is where I was, I was glad Professor Weasley asked me to accompany you. Actually, I requested really? you. Yes, mm. I had planned to extend an invitation to you myself. Oh, okay. I thought you might enjoy a butterbee in the village. <laughs> the timing of Professor Weasley's owl was perfect. Oh, I cannot tell you how nice it is to breathe fresh air after being cooped up in ancient rooms. Grave mistake to take it as an elective class, believe me. I believe you. Though I suppose you would not really call it elective when your mother was the one who elected that you take it. Hogsmeade is beautiful this time of year. Everyone will tell you to visit at Christmas, but that's one of the few times of year I would rather be indoors. <laughs> not much for the cold, are you? Oh, I do not mind the cold so much, but it has taken some getting used to. I did not grow up around snow. Oh, oh wait, over here. I often spot lacewing flies in this area. Oh? What's so special about them? They are interesting to look at, but if you stew them, you can also use them in potion making. Excellent. Okay. There's a friend of mine. He refuses to play this game because. Look! From the Forbidden Forest! Hippogriffs! Yeah. I wonder if something startled them. I, I heard it. rumors that hippogriffs had been spotted nearby. Do you think I recommended this game, and he said Absolutely. no. Absolutely. Because Why he would rather afraid? play. A game where Harry Potter is. That's the Forbidden Forest on the left. It's off limits to students, as the name implies. Why is it off limits? The professors claim it is too dangerous. I think that calling it forbidden only makes it more alluring. Anyways. Ah, there's Hogsmeade over the crest. Pass that ruin. Anyways, um. I would spend is... all of my time exploring if I could. I confess, I was surprised when Professor Weasley mentioned that you knew the area, since you're relatively new here. She said that? Hmm. She knows more about me than I had thought. Yeah, I was surprised I too. I will say, while I certainly learn a great deal in class, much can be gleaned outside of the castle walls. Anyways, uh, like I was saying, I recommended this to him, and he said How are you he settling in? wanted to play a game where I Harry Potter. I remember the weeks that followed my arrival feeling quite strange. Was there, and Hermione and Everything the rest. was so new and unfamiliar. The rest of the cast. I'm getting used to things. You know. What about you? Do you finally feel settled? I, think he'd read I the still books. miss my mm -hmm. homeland, but it is beautiful here too. And getting out of the castle and exploring helped me to adjust quite a bit. I Hogwarts thought... has become something of a home now, I would say. Hopefully it will for you too. I like a they... Mr. I... Moon! He is the Hogwarts caretaker. Looks a bit worse for wear. Hello, Mr. Moon. Have you met our new fifth year? Pleasure. Um, you might want to turn back, Miss On I. Uh, turn and run. Is everything all right, sir? Oh, it looked right at me. Eyes big as saucers. What did Mr. Moon... Jemmy, guys, ugly and airy and mm, terrifying. I shall be at the castle where it's safe. Good luck to both of you. Yes. Oh, Mr. Moon, a Demi, guys. I he's think a... he had too much fun in the village. Uh, yeah, yeah, I was about to say, I think I he's on something. Him in such a state. Nearly there. There is much to see outside of the castle walls, not just Hogsmeade. I am happy to explore whenever you'd like. Rumors being what they are about goblins and such, it might be nice to have a friend with you. I'll keep that in mind, Natty. Thank you. As, 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 as I was saying before she was talking, he didn't want to play uh, a game that didn't have Harry Potter and all of them. But I, I, I wanted to say, I, um, I got to hand it to Warner Brothers and the people they decided they use the universe, but you know, but you know, not not tied into the movie so much, so you can have a real adventure of your own, so to speak. You know, because Harry Potter is the man in the in the books and the movies, which makes sense. I mean, that's you know, 
you know, so, you know, having a game where you're playing, you know, second or third or fourth fiddle to him, you know, kind of, or outclassing and him, kind of seems we weird. It kind of seems weird. It is hard to know where to start. So. The Three Broomsticks is the place for butter beer. And you can get any sweet you can imagine at Honey Dukes. I could not choose a favorite shop here. It changes with every visit. Let's get the supplies first. I can tell you that you are certain to find everything you need in Hogsmeade. Yeah, okay, let's... Yeah, let's... Professor Weasley said that you need to get potion recipes, spellcraft, some seeds, and... A new wand. Of course. All you of will it. enjoy Mr. Ollivander. And I am keen to see what you will do with a wand of your own. You should be able to collect everything you need and still have time to explore a little as well. Mm -hmm. Experience Hogsmeade at your own pace. We can meet up in the town circle when you are finished. Okay. Enjoy yourself. I will see you soon. My parents finally installed a fireplace. I, I was thrilled, except now that they're connected to the... Okay, map. Okay, so and then there's the homes and scrolls. Okay, well let's let's set the waypoint. Let's go, let's go. Actually, oh, we're right there. Okay, well let's go here then. I want to do the I want to do the wand last, but um, I might as well do the books and things uh, since we're right here. But then we'll do, go to the potions. But yeah, the wand last is an inquiring mind. Yes, I guess. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the spellcrafts Professor Weasley ordered. Matilda, student. I thought I might be seeing you soon. Okay. I am the proprietor here. Thomas Brown. I take it you've had a conjuring lesson then? I'm afraid I haven't yet, sir. Ah, but you will soon enough. It is magic at its purest. Creating something out of nothing. Okay. Of course, it is not without complexity, but that is where my spellcrafts come. Yeah, okay, just give Stay me the, the course, and you could soon impress even Professor Weasley. That's certainly something to aspire to, Mr. Brown. I look forward to that day. I guess I got And I, too, see in it. Spellcrafts are incredibly useful for conjuring unique items like custom pieces of furniture or decoration. But I shall let Professor Weasley do the teaching. For now, let's get the spellcrafts you need. A potting table and a potion station, yes? I believe so, sir. Good. Nothing like being able to grow your own ingredients and brew what you want, when you want. Let's have a look. Let's look at what we have, shall we? Hmm. <sighs> If you're interested, feel free to take a look around at the rest of my infantry. I don't have the money. So, you know, I mean, I was, I know I was getting angry about him talking, but you know what? Um, <laughs> I guess, uh, this is, you know, this is the only I actually gets really, you know. <laughs> okay. Oops. Ooh. All right. I can through the here. Okay, so apparently we have to go to a writing deck guy too. Um, oh, this guy. Okay, well actually, it's on. Gosh, I'm not doing the map correctly. We'll go there. And the potion places on the way though. Is like as I was saying, it's it's nice that they, yeah, you know, you're you have your adventure now when they, you know, they're just like, well, two hundred years in the past, two hundred fifty years in the past. That's before Harry Welcome Potter's. Welcome to J. Pippin's potions. I think probably even great grandfather was around. Pardon me, sir. Oh, thank goodness! When I heard the bell, I thought you were Miss Lawang. Not that she deigns to come here, though what? I don't believe I've seen your face here before. I'm new. Either. It's my first time in Hogsmeade, actually. Is it really? 
Mm -hmm. Well, Parry Pippin at your service. And this is J. Pippin's potions. Potions for all ailments. <laughs> You'll have read it on the sign, of course, but Grandfather always made me say it in full. <laughs> How may I help you today? Professor Weasley sent me to collect some recipes. I'm new at Hogwarts. You're the student she sent the owl about. I set your things aside immediately. I suspected if you're anything like I was at your age, you'd want your potion supplies. Is it not the most fascinating art potion making? I really... Rivals anything you can do with a wand, I've always said. A potion's really that versatile. They may not be as showy as spell work, but make no mistake, they are just as powerful. They can heal, destroy, protect. You'll discover all of this soon enough. As it's your first time in, I should mention that it's not just potion I recipes the I sell. Part. I also offer ready-made drafts for all manner of uses, and I unveil new ones from time to time. Pop in when you can so you don't uh, miss out on anything. Hmm? But for now, let's get you those recipes, shall we? You like independently? What can I like do for you today? After class, like run to Hogsmeade. Okay, so we'll get that. Feel free to take a look at the rest of my inventory, or come back another time if you're in a rush today. Can't even buy that, man. I am poor. Okay, um, I need to find a way to make money. Oh yeah. This is just a short and a half and skip. Yeah, I can't drink something. Yeah, I got like just so many tons of gold. Well, hello there. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the seeds Professor Weasley arranged for me to collect. Oh, the Dittany for the new fifth year. <laughs> I take it that's you then. Yes. Merlin's beard. Starting Hogwarts is a fifth year. You must be positively reeling from it all. Mm. Not at all. I'm mm. choosing to see it all as one big adventure. Well, bravo. Not everyone has the temperament to take things as they come. Mm. Name's Timothy Teasdale, by the way. And this is my shop, the Magic Neep. Okay. I keep the cart out here because I like a good chat. Okay. Can't very well be in the thick of things if I'm hidden away inside now, can I? Boom. I suppose not. In addition to seeds, I have plenty of plants. Grow everything myself. My speciality is potion ingredients. Even Pippin purchases from me. But what say we get you a packet of Dittany seeds? Let me guess. You're after something fresh. Do have a look around. Plenty of ingredients to pique your interest, I'd wager. And it doesn't matter, I still can't buy anything. Okay. That's it. Well, I mean, I sold stuff, but there's got to be another way to make money. Okay, last but certainly not least, I saved the best for last. We're going to go with... Wand guy. Get our own wand. I wonder how much... If we, how much of a choice we have in the matter? Like, can we be like choose some of like the, like, is it just given to you, or can we choose like the handle and like the way, the look of the wood and everything? Like, I'm just wondering because there's like, I don't know. We'll, we'll, I guess we'll find out, right? Oh, not the place. Okay. First, they're teaching students jinxes. Here we go. Whoa. Merlin's blooming beard. Not again. I'll be right with... Ah, it's you. Um, just a moment, please. Ah, the organization yes, of... I'm looking for, for a new wand. Yes, it's about time. Yes, I... 
About time. Well, you're our new fifth year student, are you not? Yeah. What am I saying? Of course you are. Gerbold Ollivander's the name. But of course, you'll have heard of the Ollivanders, I'm sure. I'm Finest sure. one makers in the world. Probably the it's only two. It's a pleasure to meet you. We're the only Truly. available in this area. Now, come with me. Let's find you the perfect one, shall we? Oh, so I get a selection. Uh, no, 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 not you. Um, ah, or do I? Yes. Yes. Hmm. Powerful core. Ten and a half inches. Hmm. You might do. Here. Give this one a try. A nice looking one. Well, go ahead. Swish. Hmm. How odd. Uh, once more, come on, really swish it. Oh dear. Well, this isn't a good match at all, is it? No. <laughs> uh, um, we'll find you something, not to worry. Hmm. No, not you. Uh, uh, hmm. Perhaps. Yes. A rare wood, 13 and 3 quarter inches, dragon heart string. Ooh. Let's give this one a try. Now that's a one. Okay. Oh, 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 right. oh goodness. Oh. Looks like it's back to the shelf for you. Uh, this is proving to be trickier than I had anticipated. I'm sorry that I'm uh, a problem. Um, <laughs> where are you? Perhaps you? Uh, ah, there you are. Yes, I think you might be the one. Here, take it. Curious indeed. I like the dark brown actually. It's How dark. intriguing. Dark brown. Actually, hold on a second. Go with that, okay. Then, wood type. What are my options? Let's go back to the. Curious indeed. Okay, so oh, okay, so it's in. Uh, let's see, not popular. I'm looking for. How intriguing. A Cypress Peter. Um, let's get make it a little bit longer. That's good. One. I don't want it to be bendy. I want it to be. Curious indeed. Reasonably supple, I guess. I don't know. Okay, and then... Oh, the dragon. A dragon heartstring wand is most powerful and learns quickly. What do you think? Extraordinary. <laughs> Another wand, another beginning of a bright and magical future. <laughs> you do need to customize it quite a bit. Good. Now, how did that feel? Good. Uh, yeah. Different. Whoa. I sense the sort of surge of some kind. A match. Your connection seemed particularly powerful. The right wand will learn from you just as you learn from it. I'm eager to try it out. I would imagine so. A wand with a dragon heartstring core is capable of dazzling magic. And the bond between you and your wand should only grow stronger. Do not be surprised at your new wand's ability to perceive your intentions, particularly in a moment of need. That sounds wonderful, Mr. Ollivander. I'll let you get to it. Do come and see me again, if ever I can be of further assistance. Hopefully I won't need to see him again. Well, that's everything. 
Better go and find Natty. Can't imagine how. Love the atmosphere and the music of this. Oh, there are a lot of cats in this game, but there's probably an achievement if you pet every cat. Ah, I have everything. I see what you meant about not being able to pick a favorite shop. <laughs> we should walk around a bit more. Perhaps today is the day I finally pick one. Are we weakening him at all? Keep at it! We have to wear him down! Descendo! Lumos! Nah, we need to drink two of them, but okay. Okay, I can do this. Try again. Now that I've kind of got things figured out. So, let's throw in that battle. It doesn't tell you about all the things I, I was trying to do, protect things, and I don't know if I can't, if I can't do them or if I just didn't try hard enough. Seems like all I can do is dodge. Okay, so okay, so it does it right before I meet her, okay. Ah, again. I have everything. 
I see what you meant about not being able to pick a favorite shop. <laughs> we should walk around a bit more. Perhaps today is the day I... Yep. Okay. Him at all. Keep at it. We have to wear him down. Oh, gosh. Uh. What was that? I was trying to beat him at his own game. I like it. Do more of it. Descendo! Him long enough. We need to make sure he stays that way. Oh, come on. That was. I think that la that hit was a little bit. Nah, that was kind of cheap. Where's that protection thingy? Potato! Okay, yeah. That's all right. Ah! weakening him at all. Keep at him. We have to wear him down. Okay, the take of there's nothing whatsoever, okay. Yeah. 
Defender, what was that? I was trying to beat him at his own game. I like it. Do more of it. Let me have Get stuck in like a garbage and stuff, and I couldn't, I couldn't get away. Okay, so just to recap before I, I do it by myself. Protector does nothing, dodge, and hope that you don't get caught in a bunch of garbage, yeah. Ah. Here we go again. Okay. Okay, I'm ready for you now. Ooh. weakening him at all. Keep at it! We have to wear him down! I, I pressed the dodge, but I guess it didn't count that time. Expelliarmus! Keep pressing it, but I, I, I don't know. It doesn't seem to matter. What was that? I was trying to beat him at his own game. I don't know what it is. I can't I like use it. Do more of it. Whoa. Look, he's 
took him long enough. We need to make sure he stays that way. Okay, guys. Um, I'm gonna call it here. I think I might have to do this off camera, but um, we're gonna exit for now. Um, anyways, that's kind of weird. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching Hogwarts and watching me die several times trying to be this stupid troll. That um, I, I think there are, you know. I can't like complain bad. I think there's some cheap shots that are throwing him pretty well there. Anyways, uh, regardless, um, I'll find a way to beat him, and uh, we'll pick up there. Anyways, guys, um, thanks for watching. Um, if you liked it, make sure to, to mark that down. And uh, as always, make sure to uh, continue watching stories. That is, that would be subscribe. So hit that subscribe button. I'd appreciate that immensely. Anyways, guys, until next time, this is Rizzler, and this story's over.